What's up guys, welcome to another video. This is gonna be a pretty basic one, uh, a Q&A effectively, with a little bit of something that happened earlier, but I'll tell you about that in a bit. Rather than doing a Q&A where I ask you questions on Instagram the way I usually do it, I figured I might as well just take some of the most recurring YouTube comments and answer some of those to clear up some blanks on certain things, which I now have news on, which I can talk to you about. So we're gonna talk about my Audi R8, what's happening with that, and lots of changes to the original plan. But first of all, this morning I woke up, which is always positive. I went outside, my Twizy was supposedly parked right outside Side where I was sleeping wasn't there. So at first, obviously, I was like, stolen car. Again, it's happened to me before. But in fact, they had just been towed. I'd parked it where people park their scooters usually, um, which apparently in this area you cannot do, which is unfortunate. But we had, uh, yeah, an interesting morning to say the least, picking that up. So we were speaking French, so there's subtitles. Hope you guys don't mind, but here's a short little put together of what happened this morning. Qu'est-ce qui se passe là aujourd'hui, Sébastien? On est à la recherche d'une Twizy. Ma Twizy. Ouais mais ta Twizy elle est chez toi non Ben justement elle était, enfin elle était garée pas loin et la fourrière sont venus la prendre. Ah, et du coup maintenant on peut pas trouver la fourrière. Mécanique ouais c'est ça. Mais comment on y accède euh... Ah ok ok. Bon, on est là pour la Twizy. Oui Ouais. Je peux me garer euh... Allez c'est rentré sur la gauche après le camion. Ok super, merci. Twizy euh, On est Twizy. Oui, c'est déjà passé la police ou pas on était censé venir à la fourrière et là on va où bah Là on a récupéré les papiers du véhicule et maintenant on doit aller à la police nationale. Tu penses qu'il y aura de la place pour se garer euh, entre communes Parce que t'imagines, tu vas pour prendre ta voiture de la fourrière mais il n'y a pas de place donc tu te gares mal et donc cette voiture ensuite elle part à la fourrière. T'imagines le scénario bah Là avec la chance qu'on a eue récemment, euh, ça m'étonnerait pas. Hein. A few moments later. My destination is on the left. Ah là, effectivement. Coucou. Ah oui. Euh, bah, je me mets dedans là. Merci. C'est bon. En fait, on vient de réaliser où on s'était garé avant. C'était la place du commissaire. Pas la meilleure idée de se pointer et se garer dans la place du commissaire, mais bon, voilà. On reprend la voiture et on y go Allez A levé de fourrière Il y a écrit l'amende ou pas Non. Non Ah, on sait toujours pas Non. Maintenant, on doit retourner à la fourrière et après, on a 27 minutes de route pour rentrer sur Monaco. Ouais, ça va être un peu galère, hein, je pense. Vous avez dit combien 126,54. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Au On est libre. Croise les doigts. Full C'est bon, t'es tranquille pour rentrer. On est bon. So yeah, uh, that was that this morning. It was a weird one having to go pick up the Twizy in the Ferrari, but yeah, I mean, at least we got the car back. Completely understand why they took it. I didn't realize I wasn't uh, allowed to park there. But now that we've got the car back, of course, it feels really good. Right, let's get on to some of the questions. So, the most recurring one is what's happening to the R8? Where is the R8? What happened with it? So, if you're new to the channel, I bought uh, maybe close to a year now. No, when did I buy it? I bought it in October. No, nowhere near close to a year. Anyways, about six months ago, I bought an Audi R8 V10 Plus. Manual gearbox, absolutely love the car. Put an exhaust on it, a Zenrage exhaust, and it needed its service done. So I went to America right before we went into lockdown. So. Before I left to the States, I dropped the car off at RE Performance, who are Lamborghini Huracan, Gallardo, and Audi R8 experts. Uh, so I dropped the car off there. They serviced the car back to, it's basically brand new now. They did everything they had to do on the car. But then for lockdown, I decided I wanted to be down here being in the south of France rather than in London. So I've been here for the last few months and haven't been able to see the car. It's been locked up at RE Performance. They've been taking good care of it, of course. And it was also meant to have it wrap done. That's another one of the questions I selected. We'll get onto that in a little bit. So, what's happening to the car? Now, I've decided to give up my apartment in London. I wasn't spending enough time there. And I was kind of in London, spending a lot of time in Geneva as well, because that's where my family's based. And here, because I grew up here and I have most of my childhood friends here in the south of France. And it was just getting a bit too complex and I couldn't justify the cost of living in London and having a parking space and an apartment even though I wasn't spending too much time there it didn't really make sense my sister lives in the UK so if ever I need to go there I've got friends or a sibling that I could always stay at 
So it then makes sense to keep the apartment. So I decided that rather than having the apartment in London, I would get my own place here in the south of France. Um, rather than always staying at my parents' place, which is not far. And obviously still spending a lot of time in Geneva because that is home where my family is right now. And I have a lot of work based out of there. So the new setup will be splitting my time between Geneva and here in the south of France. What's going to happen with uh, housing, etc.? That's another question which I'll get onto in a bit. But first of all, the Audi R8. Naturally, of course, I don't feel like I spend enough time with that car. We were never able to put the wrap on it, which was meant to be put on. Uh, and I, I just feel like it's unfinished business with the car. So I really want to keep it for quite a while longer, even though it's right hand drive. The car's actually going to come down here to the south of France. And I only just got an update on it. It's actually going to be arriving here in about 10 to 15 days. So I need to go to the UK to pack up all of my stuff. I'm allowed to travel if it's for moving purposes, if I'm moving houses. So I need to go over there, literally pack all my stuff into a truck out of my flat because I can't keep my flat in the UK any longer. So I need to go get my furniture and all my uh, equipment and clothes and everything from there. So whilst doing that, the R8 is actually also going to be put onto a truck with all of my furniture and brought down here. So in about 10 to 15 days, hopefully the Audi R8 will be down here and I'll be able to see it for the first time, both gray cars, the Audi R8 and the 430 Scuderia together which is going to be surreal. So the update on the R8 is it will be coming down here and we will be having it here for another six to nine months or a year, whatever it may be. I'm not too sure how long I'll keep it, but I will have the right hand drive car down here and then eventually take it back up to the UK to set it. Now what's happening to the wrap? Now the wrap, which was meant to be done in the UK at RE Performance by a company, a Geneva based company, they were going to fly up. I'm going to put their Instagram on the screen and down below. They obviously weren't able to fly up during quarantine and it's still pretty complex. Um, the only reason you could, should really travel at the moment is for, you know, serious family reasons, health reasons or reasons such as uh, myself having to move and literally having to go get all of my stuff or else I was going to be out on the street. So it doesn't make sense them flying to the UK just to wrap a car. So instead, now that it's no longer locked down here in the south of France, they are going to come down once the car arrives here. And what's actually really cool is we're going to do the wrap here. Hopefully we're just finalizing the, the little bits of details, but hopefully it'll be done in a spot in central Monaco where you guys will actually be able to, if you're around, if you happen to be in the south of France at the moment, you'll be able to come watch the wrap uh, being done live, which will be really, really cool. Uh, and we'll film the whole process, of course. Still the same wrap, which I'll put on the screen now. It hasn't changed, same design, and that just needs to be placed on the car. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to that and can't wait for it to be on. Now, last question also that's coming back a lot. What's happening again with the housing, etc.? I found a place uh, and I'm going to show it to you guys. Let me know if it interests you, if you'd like to see a house tour, if you're like, we're just here for cars, it doesn't really interest us. Let us know in the comments. If it does interest you, I'll give you a house tour of where I am at the moment. If it doesn't, no problem at all. We'll just keep talking about cars. But I have found a place and I'll show it to you once I'm completely set up with all of my stuff from London. Whoa, that basically answers everything. I think you saw how hectic our morning was today. So I need to get back to some work because that kind of wasted a whole morning of work that we could have had. But uh, yeah, I mean, I completely understand why they took the car. I didn't realize I was parked somewhere where I shouldn't. I thought the Twizy in Monaco, you're allowed to park it where um, scooters, little motorbikes can park, whereas apparently around here, you cannot do so. Anyways, lesson learned. It was a funny morning. We ended up parking in the main police sheriff, I don't know how you'd call them, guys, parking space, reserved parking space by accident in the Ferrari with the valves open, which probably wasn't the smartest move, but whatever. Everything was fine. We've got the car back and we're all good to go. Hope that answers some questions you may have had. Uh, I don't do these Q&As too often, but every once in a while, it's just the best way to answer a question without having to do it individually in all the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you're all well. Hope you're staying safe. And I look forward to seeing you again for another video on Friday, which is actually going to be a really fun one. So take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.